Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and today I'm going to show you how to create GIFs using Sony Vegas and the free image manipulation software known as GIMP. First off, you're going to have to open up a video file of whatever video it is that you wish to create a GIF of. For this example, it's just some random one I found on YouTube. So if you're the original owner of this video, I do apologize and all credit to you. But still, here we go. So then, you want to make sure you have an extra video track loaded. As you can see, I've put one on top of the timeline. And then as this is a GIF, you're not going to need to worry about sound, so you can go ahead and mute the track on the bottom. The next stage in this process is to split the track up on the timeline, that's the video track, into a much smaller, smaller size. And then when you've done this, what you're going to then do is select an individual frame by dragging just a tiny bit to the right or left, and then you want to go to the File, Export As, the image file. The reason for this is because we want to create a snapshot which we're going to use as our background. So as you can see here I'm zooming in, I'm finding a frame that I think is applicable, so I've moved it just to the right, ready, there, just highlighted it just to the right one frame. So then when we have this we go file, render as, image sequence file at the very top, And then when we've done this, it will give us the output of just that specific frame's image. And what we're going to do once we've done this is we're going to directly load the image back into Vegas to use it as our background. So there we go, the rendering is complete. We're going to click on Open Folder. Find the image that we've just created. And then we drag it into Sony Vegas. Now we have the image in Sony Vegas, you want to go ahead and put it on the top line in the timeline where the original video track was created. And then obviously you want to size it down to the exact size of the current timeline that you're working with, just so it doesn't get ridiculous. And then you may have noticed when you press play, it won't actually create a moving image, it will just be the still image. And that's what we're going to solve now, to create a cool looking GIF. Obviously this may have not been why you actually clicked on this video, but I just thought I'd show you a cool little effect in the meantime whilst I show you the process of creating a GIF. The next stage of this process is to click on Event Pan slash Crop at the bottom right of the video track at the top layer. The first thing you'll notice at this point is the giant F in the middle of the screen. Just ignore this and go to the bottom left and click on Mask. This is where we are effectively cutting a hole in the video to allow only certain bits to get through. To start the process of masking, you want to go to the left hand side and click on Anchor Creation Tool. This tool is then used to connect the dots until you have a complete loop around the area you wish to deal with. It is important that at the end you connect the first and last join together so that Sony Vegas knows that you're cutting out a whole section. So as you can see in the video, I'm connecting each dot to each dot and I'm going outside of the frame like now and then at the bottom then here and when I click on the first join you'll see it cuts out the whole section and because the background has gone dark and the, the circle that I've made is light that will mean the background moves and the middle bit does not however we wish to require the opposite effect to fix this is quite simple just go to mode then click negative the roles will then be reversed which means the darkened area will be the one in which moves and everything else will not move which you can imagine for other shots, not just this because this probably isn't the best example, it probably can end up looking pretty cool if you do it well. But anyway, now on to the main section of the video that you've probably been waiting for. Or you've probably skipped to it and just ignored the first three minutes and something of this video. So now you have this bit of video clip, otherwise known as our GIF, in the making. Select the whole timeline that you've been working with, go to File, Render As, and then you want to save it as a JPEG under Image Sequence. Make sure you name it something suitable like Test or just leave it as Untitled if you're lazy like me. And then go ahead and click Render and then you should see a progression bar come up until the file has been created. Once it's then been created, navigate to the folder that you saved it in.
And at this point, you may realize that you've created a load of images. You're thinking, oh my god, what's gone wrong here? Nope, 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 this is fine. I've created a hundred odd images here, all that are going to be used in the GIF making process. Essentially, it's created loads of images out of a video file. So right click on the first image and open in GIMP. Make sure you have GIMP installed on your computer, obviously, because otherwise Windows will be like, I don't know what to do with these images. So right click, open with GIMP. And as you can see, GIMP, GIMP 2.8 is opening right now, which is what we need. Give it a bit because my laptop isn't the fastest in the world. And there we go. So now we have the main image open. You want to add all of the others as layers to this image. And to do this on Windows 8, Windows 7 is pretty easy. Just select all of the images, except the one you've already imported, and just drag them to the main canvas like so. And as you notice at the bottom, there's a green progression bar that shows them being added continuously. Now that we've got all the images set up in GIMP to make sure that the GIF works, firstly go to Image, then go to Mode, click on Index. This just sets the settings up correctly just to make it compatible and the best quality. When you click on Index, the new window will appear like this. You can just go ahead and click straight on Convert at the bottom. You don't need to alter any of these settings. And then again at the bottom you'll see a progress bar begins to appear. Now all you have to do to finish the creation of your GIF is to head to File, then Export As at the top left. So if you go File, then go down to Export As, click that one. And now make sure you save this file with the extension of .gif in the name. And doing this will make a new window appear to allow you to change the GIF, like so. So I'm going to name it .gif at the end going to go and save it then the new window appears make sure it's important that you click as animation or this file will not be saved correctly so you have to press as animation the little tick box then once you press the export button wait a few seconds and you're done that's pretty much all there is to it really now go ahead and just make sure you save the gif correctly by launching it in your favorite web browser so thanks for watching this has been adam from ads productions with another tutorial video in sony vegas Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot.